After years of studying, cooking, and refining his skills in France, my next guest this morning, he returned to the States, met his wife Judy, and opened up Cafe Soleil. That is a favorite restaurant of so many people here in the Keys. Now, in a very short order, this intimate restaurant, it captured the hearts and, of course, the taste buds of tourists and locals alike. John, it's a pleasure having you here because I am such a fan of your restaurant. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. It's I, really a pleasure to be here with you. I love Cafe Soleil. It was actually one of the first restaurants I went to when I moved here to Key West. John, how did you pick Key West out of all the places in the States? Well, that's a great question. Um, I came to visit my father when I was 10 years old mm -hmm. and uh, fell in love right away. Loved the place. Uh, saw all the amazing sights. Um, mm -hmm. At the time, uh, the Hukilau was, you know, one of the big centers of activity. And mm -hmm. Went to the aquarium, mm -hmm. went to the sponge market, and uh, that was in 1971. Okay, so you were sold I from then sold, on. Yeah. And now when you came back here, John, did you open up the restaurant immediately, or did it take you a while to decide you wanted to do it? It took me some time. Um, I worked for a number of people here when I first came to the Keys, mm -hmm. and... Uh, worked in two or three real good restaurants. Uh, I think at one time I had five jobs when I first got here. Really? Yeah, oh, my wow. first winter. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I think a lot of people, we have to have multiple jobs to stay here sometimes, right? right? And, and find out what you want and, and what you want. And find out what you want to do, exactly. Okay, so how did Cafe Soleil then get created? It was just your idea to start up this restaurant. Did you have a vision with it? I had a goal to mm -hmm. open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first arrived here, I realized quickly that I had to sell, set a deadline, mm -hmm. and I gave myself myself a year to have a prospect of opening up a place. Mm -hmm. And I met that deadline. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, uh, I worked for uh, quite a few restaurants. I met my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, we fell in love. Uh, it was kind of a fairy tale, oh. and uh, we had a baby mm -hmm. and. My family decided to help me open a restaurant, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so we, it, Judy and I opened three restaurants in two years. Really? Yeah, we opened up a little place called Halcyon at the Pier House, mm -hmm. and then a year, less than a year later, we opened up uh, Olive Oil's Cafe mm -hmm. on Duval Street mm -hmm. with my family. And then we realized that working with family was just going to be too too difficult, mm -hmm. and that uh, the demands, the constant demands with so many family members involved was, was not going to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, one afternoon, we hadn't had a day off together for months. Mm -hmm. And we were riding, I think it was early January, mm -hmm. and we were riding uh, down Solaris Hill, down Elizabeth Street, the wrong way. No, mm -hmm. Not Elizabeth Street. <laughs> down Southern Street, the okay. wrong way. <laughs> and uh, we went by this little place, and there was a small sign that said, for rent. And with a little phone number, and my son was on the back of my bike. He was like, I don't know, eight or nine months old. Mm -hmm. And I said, Judy, Judy, look at that. She said, oh, it's beautiful. I said, I've heard of this place. I didn't know they were closed. Mm -hmm. So we wrote the number down and called them. And uh, they came by and had dinner with us at the restaurant at Olive Oil's Cafe. Mm -hmm. And they really liked our food mm -hmm. and uh, the restaurant. And they said, we would consider uh, having you as a, a leaseholder. Mm -hmm. So Michael, uh, Michael, Wayne King and Michael Gallagher mm -hmm. leased us this restaurant, and then a few years later we bought it from them. And then the magic happened. It was it, <laughs> we, it was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, Jason was on my back or Mom's uh, Judy's back mm -hmm. uh, while we scraped the floors and put in new floors and cleaned the kitchen while running another restaurant with my dad. So. Mm -hmm. So now you just, to this day, you just have Cafe Soleil? We just have Cafe Soleil. Okay, yeah. And I know that this has to keep you so busy because you guys are always, I'm sure, adding new things to the restaurant. Are you happy where it's at today? I'm, so, I'm just starting to feel like it's where I want it to be. And I, uh, the, it's been a real challenge to take a very uh, old building and bring it up to code and get everything so that it really works uh, like a modern kitchen and, a, and a, uh, that the restaurant is as beautiful as we want it to be. Now, are you guys open seven days a week? 
We're open seven days a week for breakfast and lunch. Uh, I'm sorry, for lunch and dinner. For lunch and dinner. <laughs> no breakfast yet. <laughs> no breakfast yet, right? That was you, a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you might be getting that soon. Well, yeah. if you haven't been to Cafe Soleil, everybody, please check this restaurant out. It is a gym, John, an absolute gym. Oh, so. thank you. And you guys have entertainment there sometimes as well? Uh, Libby York is accompanied by a variety of her friends, regularly with Bobby Nesbitt. Mm -hmm. And the two of them are amazing together. They do Sunday brunch from uh, noon to two. Okay. And they, they've been doing that since early December and they'll do it through April. Great. And then, uh, I don't know about other live entertainment, but that's what we have right now. Great, um, great. I haven't checked Libby out, but I will. I'll definitely amazing. be there to check her out. So. I, I'm doing an event um, next Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's called the Rock and Roast. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a six annual Rock and Roast and I'm gonna cook 13 whole pigs we're going to cook about 700 pounds of vegetables, mm -hmm. 500 pounds of chicken grilled. Wow. And uh, we serve 1,000, 1,500 people and, and raise a lot of money during a silent auction okay. for uh, the Catholic Church, okay. Basilica St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. Well, great. So next yeah. Saturday. Next Saturday from 2 to 8 p.m. Okay. Well, hopefully everybody yeah. can make it there. John, thank you for being on this morning. <laughs> yeah, pleasure to meet you, Jenna. I'm going to take a quick break right now. Don't go away, though. There is much more to come.